Okay, this is a snow day special. I want to show you something cool I found, some data I found online in my um, attempts to grab the data off the website. So we're looking at the power outage map for the DC metro area and Virginia, Maryland, and we want to know if this changes over the course of the day. So I would like to collect this data and I will be very interested in just having this table. And if I see if I try to copy it, it doesn't, it doesn't work as well as you might think. You can try copying it and it might work for you. But let's say it doesn't work for you. Do you have other options? Here's another option. If I right click on this element, this is an HTML element and if you have a browser that's at all sophisticated, you can ask it to inspect element. And so then what you can do is you can say, hey, if I click over here, it'll tell me where I am. If I click over here, it'll highlight where I am. So over here on the right, this is the HTML code, and this is the table I'm, I'm viewing. And if I click this whole thing, I see that I should grab the whole entire body of the table. So it will not grab the table head. This is the table head. It's not showing. Okay. Anyway, it should grab the whole table body. So if I do a right click, I can copy that element. All right, now I'm going to try this time, I'm going to try something slightly different. This is about my fourth try. So this process takes a little bit of trial and error. So there I have it. I don't care about this table body tag. That was the thing I grabbed, but I don't care about the tag itself. I want the guts. I want whatever's inside it. And if I leave it in there, it'll cause what I do next to not work quite right. All right, one thing I noticed in my data is that there are commas in my data. For example, the number of customers out is 2,065, but I would like to use comma as a delimiter in my comma separated values table. That's not strictly necessary, but I tried not doing it and something even worse happened. So I'm gonna remove all the commas from the file and see what happens. That's very easily done. Just replace those three commas with nothing. So they're gone. Okay, now the next step is a little harder. Since it's an HTML table, I want to split by a row. So if, let me see if I can find one for you. This symbol right here, that, that tag is going to split my rows of my data. So I want that to be a return in my file. So I want to do replace my table row um, flag with, and there's a special key sequence I have to make to tell my Emacs editor that I want to do that. So if you're using some other editor, you have to Google that. You have to say, how do I insert new line or line feed character using search and replace? So that's the problem, because if you're using search and replace and you hit enter, it thinks you're finishing the command. So there's some other sequence that lets you do that. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to split up uh, these things. I want to, every time I see a greater than or less than symbol, I want that to turn into a comma so that I can get nice columns when I try to open this again. I'm going to replace open bracket with space comma open bracket and I want to replace so this one should have been replaced but I was sitting on top of it so it didn't see it and replace the close one with close comma space and hopefully that will align everything but now it's a text file, so I want to rename that. I could have saved it as a CSV, or I could just rename it myself. If I'm very lucky, this will work this time, and then I'll actually post this. I want to split by comma. Okay, now it looks like I have my data. And I hope I do, but the important thing is that I don't care about this HTML. I'm going to get rid of all of that. Uh, so this is just all the column I want, is the, the name of everything, and um, I've been foiled again because this data has been mangled. I don't know why. Uh, I've been outsmarted by something.
Oh no, I haven't. I win. I thought I had been outsmarted, but I won. Okay, so I can actually post this. So a lot of this data cleaning is um, trial and error. If you have to actually uh, do this grabbing tables off of HTML, if you have to do that frequently, then you would just get the proper tool for doing it. I want to show you that even if you don't have the proper tools and you just need a one-off, you can usually hack a solution. But if you're going to do something repeatedly, you should not be using a hack because that's just really inefficient. So there I have my data and then I could I could do all sorts of stuff. Like I could hook this up to ArcGIS like the um, like WTOP did and I could turn this into a map of the outages and once I did that I could say oh wait I can do this repeatedly throughout the course of the day and then I could make an animation of how the power outages progressed over the course of the day for example. Um, so anyway, that's how you can s grab information off a website if copy and paste is not working for you. Okay?